Hi, I'm Sides. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had an amazing holiday and got to spend some time with family and friends or was able to make some music. I started a new little ditty. This is what it sounds like. Anyways, that's not what this video is about. <laughs> you know when you write a new song and you're having so much fun with it and you just, yeah, that's how I am with this song right now. Anyways, you don't need to spend hundreds of dollars on Melodyne when you can use Logic's own stock Flex Pitch. To get to Flex Pitch, all you gotta do is double click here on the vocals. If you have comped vocals like I do, you have to make sure that they're just one take. So if you're not sure yet, what you can do is click here, and then you have all of these options. So I'm just gonna flatten and merge because I'm fine with it. And now I'm going to double click, turn this little button on to turn on flex, and then go over here and get to flex pitch. Now you scroll down to find your notes. And then here's all of the notes. Now, for those of you that have my Logic Pro ebook, this is what it looks like. I like to use it on my iPad. You can also use it on the computer. Let me show you. So here's the ebook. You can actually use the books app on your computer, but I'm just fine to using it in preview. So I'm gonna go to the table of contents and I'm gonna click on audio editing tricks. And then if you scroll down, you can see a bunch of audio editing tricks, but specifically flex pitch. Here's the breakdown of everything. Now, something I'm really proud of with this book that you can do on both the iPad or the computer version is if you click on the title of the section and then click open in Safari, it will open up to the videos on my website that you have access to. You know what? I'm just gonna show you like the little section on flex pitch. Now let's talk about flex pitch. Flex Pitch is note-based audio editing. To access Flex Pitch, double click on the track, click on this icon, turn on Flex, and make sure Flex Pitch is selected. Now you can scroll down to find your notes. Each note has six controls on it. The first one is Format Shift, which will change the harmonic frequency or tonality of your audio. The next one is Vibrato, which will minimize or increase your natural vibrato. Check it out. The next one is Gain, which will minimize or increase the gain. Check it out. Then you have pitch drift on the top left or the right side. You can use these to address any sliding in or out of the pitch. If you double click on a note, Logic will move it to what it thinks is its perfect pitch. You can also drag out a note or shrink a note if you go the other way. You can chop a note with the scissor tool. Again, it's on my right mouse click. And now each of those cuts have their individual six controls. Or you can drag the audio to move it to a specific note. You can also use a vibrato tool to minimize or increase vibrato, or you can use the volume tool to minimize or increase the gain. You could also use the join tool. If you select two notes and click on it, it will join the notes together. You can also select a group of notes or select all by pressing command A, and you can use this pitch correction scale. Sometimes when I'm in a crunch, I move this all the way to 100, and then I go through and check the notes again individually. You can also do this with the gain, obviously that's way too high. You can quantize the notes, and you could adjust the quantize strength here, and you can even do scale quantize, which I showed you in the piano roll. Here's a really quick bonus tip that's in my course, and I love this one so much. Check this out. First, you wanna open up the flex buttons by pressing Command F. And now I'm gonna turn on flex for all the tracks that I wanna line up. But I'm gonna switch from flex pitch and I'm gonna use flex time. For single line harmonies, I'm gonna use monophonic. Now you have these flex markers. You can delete them by clicking X or you can add one by just clicking. And now let's say I want these vocals to all start at the same exact spot. I can just drag them all over to match. And then you could use the other ones depending on the audio that you want to line up. How cool is that? 
I worked so freaking hard on this book and all of the videos. Like, my other really favorite thing about this book is that if you click to, like, audio editing tricks, and on every single page, there's a little button that'll take you back to the top. If you click back to the top, it'll take you right back to the table of contents. Let me show you on the computer. Look. Click here, back to the top, right back to the table of contents. How cool is that? Back to the top. Bam. And you can also search. Let's say I search flex. Here's all of the pages showing you how to do flex. How cool is that? And also, one last thing I wanted to show you. I created these desktop wallpapers with Logic Pro tips. So there's three each, and each one has two sizes. So this is a bigger size if you want them to be bigger icons, but if you want them to be smaller icons, they look like that. And I did one, I did a basics one, a composing one. Here's the, smalling, the smaller composing one. Editing tricks and the smaller editing tricks. So if you have two screens, you can put them on two screens. And yeah, I've made these things so you can make music faster and you don't have to spend hours and hours and hours learning how to use your DAW. All of these videos add up to 45 minutes because there is zero fluff in it. Not like a YouTube video where I'm showing you my song or talking about my day. I'm not doing that at all in this course. It is straight tips the whole way through. And once you've watched it all, you can just refer to the book. You don't even need to watch it again unless you forget. And then you can just go to the title and it'll take you right to the video. And the last thing I want to say about this Logic Pro Crash Course book is that it includes free updates. So whenever I learn more tricks or if there's a Logic Pro update, I will update the new book and I will put it right here for you guys to download. And it's completely free. It's just the one-time purchase. The best part is, is I'm having an end-of-the-year sale. That's right. This is the best time for you to get your hands on this book. We're doing a sale. So if you want to get this book and support my small business, I'll put the sale link in the description. If you have gotten the book already, please send me an email or comment what you think about it. Only if it's good. Just kidding. I really, really hope you love it. I hope it helps. I also hope that you have an incredible new year. Please be safe. What will I be doing? I'll be in the studio working like I always do. Don't feel sorry for me. I love to work. It's honestly, truly my favorite thing to do. I'm so grateful that I get to do what I love for a living. And I'll make a video on that, my next video for Thursday. I'm gonna talk about what I do for my living because so many of you are wondering like, how do I make money? How am I able to be a full-time music creator? So I'm going to tell you all about it in my next video. If there's a kind of video that you'd like me to make, please let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much for being here. Happy New Year, and I'll see you in 2025.